Hello, my name is Greg Genta and I'm a sales engineer with Fortinet. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use FIDO2 tokens to log on to a FortiGate firewall GUI and SSL VPN. This solution, of course, is not limited to logging into a FortiGate or to a VPN, it can be used with any service provider that supports SAML. FIDO2 tokens are a way to do passwordless login. Usually there is a biometric aspect incorporated into the FIDO2 token, such as physically touching the token, like a 40 token 400, or a fingerprint reader, such as the fingerprint reader on a MacBook, face recognition, such as iPhone face ID, or a pin can be set up and used if the token does not support biometrics. Fortinet sells the 40 token 400, but you can register any FIDO2 compliant token into 40 Authenticator. If you would like a deeper dive on what FIDO2 is and how to set this up on 40 Authenticator and a FortiGate, please see the link below to another Fortinet video that covers the setup. In this video, I am going to just focus on demonstrating the registering of the FIDO token and using the FIDO token. Let's jump into the demo. So one of the first things you'll have to do as a user is register your FIDO token with 40 Authenticator. So in 40 Authenticator, you will want to set up a self-service portal that allows your users to register their FIDO tokens. So I'm going to hit my self-service portal. I'm going to log in with my username. And since I don't have any tokens currently assigned to this user, I'll hit next. It's going to ask for my LDAP password. Next, I'll click on two-factor authentication and I'll click on add FIDO key. So first, I want to add my 40 token 400, and I'll click OK. I will use a different device, and I'm going to use USB security key. There, I touch it. I need to add a pin. And then touch it again. And that completes the WebAuthn FIDO2 registration with 40 Authenticator. So now I can use this token to log in to different service providers or resources that I have configured to work with my 40 Authenticator. So let's click OK here and we'll sign out. Now let's go and see an example of SSL VPN. So I'm going to click on single sign on. I'm going to put the user in realm of the user that I just registered a token to. I'm going to use USB security key, going to touch it, put in my pin, say next, and touch it again. And that will complete my login for SSL VPN to a web dashboard. I am going to log out. Let's go back to the self-service portal. Let's log back in. Now I'm going to revoke that key. Now let's add another key. I'm going to call this Mac Touch. And uh, we'll continue. And then now I use my fingerprint reader on the MacBook Pro. And that did the WebAuthn registration with 40 Authenticator. So now I can log in with my fingerprint. So let's log out. And let's go to SLVPN, and single sign on, and log in again as Greg.fido. Hit next, and I'm going to use my fingerprint. And I logged into the VPN with my fingerprint token. Let's log out and go back to the self service portal. my fingerprint, two-factor authentication. Let's revoke that token. Now you can have multiple tokens, that's not a problem. I'm just doing this process because I like to just see one at a time. So this time we're going to use Face ID from an iPhone. I'm going to use a different device. I'm going to use a phone or a tablet. So this will register for Face ID.
say OK. And sign out. Now, for this one, let's log in to the FortiGate GUI. Scan it with my phone. It does the face ID. And there I get access to the GUI of the FortiGate. It would also work with VPN, but I just wanted to show this process as well. And so that is how it's possible to set up biometrics for login to a FortiGate firewall, to the GUI, or to an SSL VPN, and any other service provider that you have that could work with Forti Authenticator through SAML. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, please reach out to the Fortinet sales team for your area. Thank you.